What is going on everybody, Eddie Sounded back once again with Sounded Entertainment and we are back in Monster Jam Steel Titans once again here today for something that I think is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try something out uh, that is pretty similar to what we usually do in uh, Beam and G Drive with the monster trucks uh, here in Steel Titans. So we're going to run a freestyle show basically. We'll have 10 trucks line up and uh, give them a freestyle run and then you guys of course get to decide the winner via a straw poll that you can vote on. Uh, which would be in the link of this video as well as in the pinned comment down in the comment section. So uh, be sure to vote once the event is over with and give us who you think won. Uh, we'll just be started with sort of the 10, I guess, beginner trucks, if you will, for today. And then we'll probably do this again down the road with a different track and some more trucks. And if we guys like it, maybe we can keep doing it. So uh, if you do enjoy this video, of course, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because that will let me know that you guys enjoy it. And then uh, with that, We'll go ahead and move on to our first run. So let's go ahead and set this up. As you can see, I'm just going to use quick play. I'm going to go to freestyle. Uh, and then for the track, why not pick my home one? We'll start with Detroit as our first show uh, with an arena that looks nothing like Detroit. And of course, that they didn't run at Detroit, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, we'll use this one to start off with. All right. So one more quick thing to explain here that's pretty important. Uh, of course, because we're running a quick play event, it will also have other trucks that have scores that we are trying to beat if we were just playing this quick play uh, for the purpose of doing a one-off freestyle. But because we're actually going to do 10 truck runs like we usually would do in Beam, that means that you guys can basically disregard whatever the score that we get is because the winner is going to be selected by who has the most votes by you guys, of course. So uh, don't mind whatever the scores are for us or for the other trucks in these events. Um, the only the only runs that matter are the 10 runs that we do uh, with the 10 different trucks here So that is basically all that uh, you guys need to worry about is our runs uh, You can disregard the scores on screen and different things like that uh, Of course the two-minute clock will be um, put in place here, which is kind of nice that uh, that's just built into this game Obviously, I, I really am a big fan of that and we will go ahead and begin Okay, so we've got our 10 trucks lined up here. Of course, you can uh, kind of just pretend that the Monster Jam training truck is not there. But these 10 trucks that you see unlocked are what we're going to use for today. And then, of course, in the future, I'll have the rest of the trucks unlocked by then. And we'll use some of those ones. But I actually think this is a fairly decent lineup. Uh, it's kind of the undercard, I guess you could say, of the of Monster Trucks. And then uh, you've got uh, a couple of fan favorites in there as well. So I'm looking forward to this. I think we're going to have fun. We're going to start with Whiplash for our first run of the day. And uh, let's get that going right now. Well, that was a pretty slick little intro right there. I think I'll leave those in. That's kind of nice. As this run is about to begin, here we go. Our first freestyle run of the day and I guess of our Monster Jam Still Titans freestyle eventing careers. I don't know. We've already done that one little video in it, but these will be pretty exciting as I don't even know what to call that move right there, but I will happily take it. And I'm going to try to keep things as, uh, as legit as I possibly can, which means I'm just not going to spam a bunch of front flips uh, like you probably can in this game to win just about any event. Because we are sailing over some of these jumps right now and getting a nice feel for things. It's oh boy. Save it. Save it. There you go. Walked out of it. That could have been scary. We powered out of that one, though. And back up the ramps we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Getting power out of this one, too. Luckily, we come over on the side of that. And we do get it. All right. Straight up in the air. That one's going to come down hard on the nose and bounce back. Put the front wheels up in the air after that. Oh, man, we are getting all kinds of crazy bounces and another power out we're going to have to do. Come on. I like how we literally have a one score. I feel like this has been a fairly decent. Here we go. Bicycle it a little bit right there. Let's see what we can do about this jump. Straight up in the air. That's nice. It's an ambulance right there. Oh, we go for the backflip. We go for the backflip. There we go. We're going to get the backflip landed. Sometimes those are kind of hard to do in this game, to be honest. They're kind of challenging. It's a little bit finicky, but... Oh, there we go with a double front flip, though. That'll get you some points. Straight up in the air. All right. Bring things back around as the clock is getting lower now. Doing another front flip, because why not, apparently? 
Those are just too easy to do, aren't they? And then we're gonna do a... Get on top of the backflip ramp. There you go. Oh, and we're gonna pull it down. Come on, save the truck for your last move as the clock runs out. We're gonna save the truck. We do get a 9.165 in our final score. Let's see, can we get the 10? Now that this is after, this is a little extra for the fans right here. Oh my god, we just get knocked around. But I'm gonna save it again. We get a perfect 10 because of that last move in game, but that will do it for Whiplash. Our first run of the day. Alright, we got the next truck up and ready. Here we got Soldier Fortune. And we are off and underway in freestyle there. They made me wait for it, but we take our first jump, knock out a beacon, and get a nice little pop wheelie right there, and almost walked it out of there, bounced it off the tailgate a couple of times. That was a nice. We're gonna take pretty much the same opening path as next last time we did. But we'll slide things back around here and we'll get a donut going if I can help it. Let's get a donut going. Come on. Kinda of difficult to get donuts going in this game of notes. There we go. We got one going there. Nice little cyclone it counted as, so I like that. Get some nice points right there as well. Although, of course, those don't really matter to us right now. But we're getting a little power out right there. Save the truck. Notice some body panels flapping on Soldier Fortune right now as we get another little slap pop wheelie right there. That's pretty cool. All right, bring that thing around this way. Let's get some big air over this big middle jump. Straight up in the air between two beacons, of course. Wouldn't want to hit one of those now, geez. Let's see, can we do one off the front end of the backflip ramp? Land it on the back and pull it back out. Right there, there you go. Brilliant moves being made by Soldier Fortune right now. Up in the air. Nice, oh man, what a bounce though. Can you pull it out? What a power out, what a power out right there. That was nice. Got body panels definitely falling off the truck now. Big air right here. We're gonna land it on the perfect on the down ramp though. That is nice as well. Let's see as we are down to 30 seconds. The time moves quick, doesn't it? Let's see if we can hit the backflip ramp over into a bit of a twist and slides me over to the side. That was nice. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can do something over here. What is that? What are these moves? We're inventing new moves as we speak now. These are nice moves being made, if you do ask me. We got a front flip going in there as well. I had to stick one of those in there at some point, didn't we? He's going for the backflip ramp again, boys. We're getting big air on this one. Oh, he's going to land it on the lid and right as the time expires. So that will do it right there for this run. That's pretty fitting right there for Soldier Fortune, though. But going back out, that'll do it. And there you have it. Now we've got Northern Nightmare. The winner of our Super Show is out here, and we are off and underway here. We're gonna take a little bit different opening round this time, I think. We'll we'll pop things up over here. Standing on the back tires, walking into a bit of a wheelie right there. Not bad, not bad. Didn't really change the opening round at all, other than by a few feet to one side, maybe, and we just already get a nice little power out save right there. Is he gonna go to the back flip ramp right off the back? This could be dangerous. Oh, we got some twisting going on. Can you pull it back? What a save. What a save right there. Got body panels flying off of this one already as well. A massive front flip right there mid-air. Got to get one of those in. We got some beacons getting knocked out here. Not that those, of course, really matter unless you want to score those as mattering. But here we go. Oh, my word. That was just a natural front flip right there. I am in awe. All right. Going for the backflip on the other side now. Really being bold. Not getting a backflip worth anything right now. And that is going to put us on the lid as well. So I don't know if a mid-flip should be a, a deduction or what, a mid-run flip. That's up for you guys to decide. All right, let's see. Over we go. Another front flip on the back end. Walked it out almost. Kicking it up. Come on, he's going to have to power out of this one. There we go. And put it up on a bicycle for a minute there as well. 
Uh, let's just get some big air right here. That's some nice air. Gonna come down on that other landing ramp there and get a sh shot over into a flip and on the lid. He goes inside 30 seconds now. We have got to make something big happen here for Northern Nightmare. It's been a lot of lid landings today. We've got another front flip going, of course, because we needed one of those. Now, that's just how you cheese it into a win here. If you're going up against the AI scores, you just spam front flips all the time. But for you guys, we're going to ask for a little bit more integrity here as we get some massive air right there. And you see some of our future competition as the clock is winding down. Can I get one last big air hit in? I indeed can. We're going to go for the mid-air backflip. And we're going to get it just by keeping the power on it, too. That was nice. So that will wrap it up here. Maybe we'll go out with a bit of a cyclone here just for the fans. It's not for the score. Uh, I can't even get one going. I'm just sliding across the track, and we're going up the hill. And that will do it for Northern Nightmare. All right, we've got the Monster Mod Dalmatian up next. Here we go, waiting for that green light, and there it is. And I'm gonna pull things around right off the bat. I'm gonna turn it right around in midair and come back the other way. There we go. All right, well, let's start things off with a bit of a cyclone here, if we can get one going. Let's go for the cyclone. I like cyclones. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go up on our side, too, and I'm gonna have to bicycle it around and power out of this one now. <laughs> now we're gonna power out. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Can I get this? Oh, I couldn't get that beacon in time, but I'll take it. Keep that combo going. Let's get some air right here on the angle jump. Oh, we're going to land on two wheels into a bicycle. Nice. And get some air afterwards. Some nice air. I love that the ears are actually flopping around and flapping to you. That's a, that's a nice touch. I like that. Oh, we got a little twist on that backflip ramp there, but we landed. We landed it. Let's go for some more big air over here. Come on, let's get some of these beacons out of the sky right here. Here we go. Let's land this one on the landing ramp. Oh, just a little bit shy. Just a little bit shy right there. We're going to sling it around and come up this way. Oh, walking it. Walking the dog, literally. Come on. Oh, literally walking it, too. Oh, no, we're going over. And that has done it. We are on the lid with 45 seconds to go. We need to hurry up and get back on the wheels and continue this thing going. Oh, oh, what in the world? I don't even know what to call that either. I don't know what we managed to just do, but it was quite impressive. All right, that's how you come off of a flip over right there. Maybe in the future, we'll say if you flip over, that'll be the run. It's up to you guys. Tell me how you want this to work in the future as we just landed hard on the nose of the dog with only 15 seconds left. Well, now I have to redeem myself and do that again, don't I? Oh, no, and I've done the same thing. There's no redemption in sight. Oh, no. You know what? I gotta back it up. You know what? No. We gotta, as the clock winds down, we gotta conquer this backflip ramp's front end right here. And we can't do it. We can't do it. Oh, wait, wait, we can. Oh, well, there you go. That's one way to end it all. There you go. Monster Mutt Dalmatian has seen better days, but it has had a run completed now. And that will do it for Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Well, keeping in the theme of Monster Mutt Trucks, here we have the OG. Well, not truly the OG, of course, it's the new body, but we have the regular Monster Mutt now. And here we go, popping that thing into a nice little wheelie right there off the ramp. Let's see if we can bring things around back here. Try to get things going into another Cyclone again. Big Cyclones, we've had enough Cyclones for one day, maybe for a while. Let's see what I can do about this thing. There we go, straight up in the air. Oh, almost over-rotated that thing. And we're gonna, oh my goodness. Come on, I have to pull this out. Come on. Oh, no, on the lid. Ah, you hate to see it, but we get that every now and then. Back up here we go on top of the tires. Let's bring it back down this way into the beacon. Up these little logs. And that's going to be a strange bounce, but we'll land it into a bicycle. Into another bicycle on the other side, and that's going to lead to a power out. Oh, and a double power out on the other side. There you go. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Right back where we started now. Going to stand that thing up on the back. And... All right, we got it, we got it, we, we got it, nice, nice. Get some air right here, up in the air. 
Let's see if we can bring this thing around to the backflip ramp here. This thing likes to give us some trouble sometimes. What kind of backflip is that? It's a perfect one is what it is. Now that is about as unconventional of a backflip as you're ever going to go, and we immediately kill it into some big air right there. Nicely done. Let's see if I can slide this thing around to the racing lane. Can I get to the racing lane? No, oh, I'm going for the crowd. I'm going for the wall. No, we save it. We keep it out of the crowd, luckily. All right, let's see. Can we go? Oh, oh we'll put it in the wall. Oh, I'll do a backflip off the wall. Double backflip off the wall. Okay, and, and into a nose. Into a nose stand. Or a stoppy, according to the game. All right, a stoppy. I'll get it. See, the game's going to teach me the, the names for these things. And, and oh, my word. How did we just get a backflip off of that as well? Well, I've seen it all now. Let's get some big air once again here. And I'm just going to hold the throttle down for the backflip again. As we are within 10 seconds left, we got about one more hit in us. Let's go for some more big air. And just going to hold the brake for the double front flip as time expires. And that really ought to do it right there for Monster Mud. A fantastic freestyle run if you ask me. All right, well, we have a childhood favorite right here of mine, a personal one, of course, El Toro Loco. Maybe not the black version, but uh, the regular red one was always my personal favorite, uh, or one of my personal favorites, anyway, of course. I still, I still am partial to Avenger, who sadly is not in this game, but believe me, if it was, he'd be in the lineup, especially here in Detroit. All right, let's go for some big air, massive air, some of the biggest air we've had all night, landing that thing on the back end of the truck. But yeah, man, El Toro look one of my favorites. So we gotta give El Toro a good run here. Let's bring things off the side on an angle jump. Come on, can I work this into a bicycle? Or can I just get knocked up in the air and power out of it? No, he's gonna get stuck on the back. Only 30 seconds into the run, we've already got to flip over. All right, well, now that's the bicycle I was looking for earlier. And then it didn't even count towards the game for whatever reason, so fair enough. Sideways over, that jump landed it perfectly on the back side of that ramp here. Let's see if we can get up get the beacons nope not quite on target for the beacons but we got plenty of big air and i am doing spins and i don't even know what to call some of these moves and i'm going over again and i'm gonna power out of this one there we go all right got a little luck found a little luck somewhere we've ripped the horns off of el toro loco you hate to see it oh we got the natural front flip again into a oh that, that should that should count as up oh here we go another front flip as well there you have it can i work from the front flip into a back flip with the back flip ramp Oh yeah, oh yeah, hit the brakes, steady that thing up, and power out of it. There you go, beautiful backflip right there as we're getting towards 30 seconds left, and this is, this is not looking good, is it? But it does look good in the end. The nice run going so far here for El Toro Loco Black. Oh boy, can we get over these jumps here as the clock is winding down? We gotta make some moves happen here now. I'm going for that gas down the back flip. There you go. And then maybe I'll go ahead and just wrap it over here. Oh, no. Oh, off the invisible wall. And into a wheelie. I'm just going to let it sit right here. I'm just going to let the truck sit right here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how El Toro Loco is going to go out as the time expires and this combo winds down. That will do it for El Toro Loco. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll get him out of here. Oh, no, and I lay him on his side. Well, hang on, we'll power out of it. Doesn't even give me the chance. There was El Toro Loco Black, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we've got Doomsday from our Make Doomsday Great Again campaign, which you guys haven't even heard about yet because we haven't done any career mode videos yet, but we will get to those. Believe me, I recorded a ton of them. But we have got Doomsday out here, and we are on a freestyle run. So let's go get some big air right here, knock a beacon out. Why not? More massive air into a wheelie, and I'm going to walk it out, of course, because why not? That just That's just style right there. Can I get a cyclone going real fast? There we go. There we go, and up on the side, and power out of it if I can. There we go, all right. Let's bring this thing back around here to some of the jumps. 
some nice air right there. It's gonna be a bit of a strange landing indeed, but it's gonna lead to another power out. Power outs for days in this one's no way. Oh my, yep, 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 yep. Count it, look at that. Look at the beautiful move being taking place right now. All right, <laughs> whatever that was, there's no words for that combo. Well, let's see if we can bring it over here. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> we landed it. We landed it. That's all that matters. Don't ask questions. Just land. Oh, we got a natural front flip again, but it's not going to get all the way, but it does. We land it and into a bicycle. That's not really a bicycle because I'm just flipping over. And pulls it back on the wheels as well. Lucky break right there. Into a beacon with some more big air. Darn hard on the front tires, though. Let's see. Can we get a... Front flip going right here, we do. Can I work it into a backflip on the backflip ramp? Next is I don't catch a rut, which I did, and I'm doing a, I mean, I just, I'm on top of the backflip ramp yet again, <laughs> yet again in this freestyle. Let's see, let's work that again. Let's try that again, let's pull up here. There we go, that's a backflip ramp, and we get it down, and I'm gonna do a natural backflip here if I can help it, but that is gonna put me on my back, and that is gonna end the run. That will do it for Doomsday. All right, you better fear the curse with Captain's Curse, boys. We got Captain's Curse ready to go. I love this truck, of course. Giving me them blacksmith vibes from when I was a kid. Another one of my personal favorites. Oh, we almost worked things into a backflip immediately, and we stand it up on the back. There you go. All right, well, that'll give me a uh, opportunity to pull things back around this way, smash some beacons up. Well, let's go for some big air right here into this jump right here. We'll smash a beacon and go to the front flip, massive front flip over the chump and just dig the nose into the ground on the landing, and that's going to allow me to pull things right back where they were. What happened there? Oh, no. Can I get out of this with a power out? This is quite the power out. Oh, my goodness. Into another power out. Come on now. There we go. That was an insane uh, series of events right there. Okay, well... We'll take that and move along. Fear with the fear the curse. I'm gonna fear this backflip ramp here. There we go. That's a backflip and it kicks me off to the side too, which is beautiful. All right, back up here with some big air, some sideways air. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we've seen this hack before, haven't we? But we're back. We're good. We got it. Okay, up we go. Across the table, top. Getting a little rowdy. But we got it. Straight up over that little standalone jump there and into another power out. No shortage of power outs today, I guess. We're just gonna wheelie it up and over this thing. Don't mind us, boys. And then into a bicycle while we're at it, nice. See if I can get up over these tires here. Oh boy, yep, that's gonna lead to another one, isn't it? As we just rip off a bunch of the hood. Okay, we need to start getting this run going here and that's one way to do it right there with a strange looking jump like that. Let's see, backflip ramp, you got anything for me here, the front of it? Let's go for the double. No, no. Oh, man, if only the tires had caught there at the front, I could have pulled that out, but that is going to make us down and out here. We got to get redemption here. Come on, the clock is winding down. There you go. Kind of redemption power out of it for our final move of the run, and that will do it for Captain's Curse. We'll let the combo wind down. We'll take it to the back, but look at it. We just got a little free-hanging piece of front end, and that is, that is it other than the back of the truck, so that'll do it for Captain's Curse. Kind of a wild freestyle run. You know, I always say, oh, this truck's one of my personal favorites. This one, I, again, I added to the list of personal favorites as we get the green light. And up we go here with Blue Thunder. Now, I like the old Blue Thunder a lot better. I will say that. I did like the black uh, and, you know, the, I guess, navy blue Blue Thunder from back in the day. The original Blue Thunder. You know which one I'm talking about. You guys know. That one was always my favorite one. Tony Farrell, the late, great Tony Farrell, drove that one for a while. 
and uh, as did a, a bunch of other guys. Lindsay Week was in it for a while there. There was, there was a bunch of guys in it. But we, oh boy, that is a massive there, and that's gonna land into a bicycle. To, and that's an interesting move that we have not seen yet. Into a power out, if I can make it happen, we do. And should I just go straight for the backflip ramp? What a combo that would be. What kind of backflip was that? What was that? What was that? What? Way to ruin my, my mojo I had going on. There we go. That's a backflip. That's what we're going for here from the backflip ramp. Thank you, backflip ramp, for doing what you're supposed to do. Appreciate it. All right, let's go for the tire right here. And that's a natural front flip if I've ever seen one. Here we go. Blue Thunder's going for the win in Detroit, boys. How fitting would that be? Let's see if we can make it happen here. Oh, but not before we flip over into the jump pad and pull it out. And I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about that. Gas it. Land it. Oh, gas it. Land it. No. Oh, we're going to be stuck on the lid for that one, but we will get it back going here. Oh, my word. And then we just did it again. We literally did the same thing twice in a row. Wait, oh, that was going to fly down the side, though. I should have let that roll out into a bicycle on top of this tabletop. We got to get it off of this tabletop. This is killing me right now. All right, let's see. What can I do about this jump right here into a double front flip? Landed it. Can I go for the back flip ramp again? He does, and it kicks me off to the side as well perfectly with eight seconds, seven seconds. We're running out of time. What in the world? Into a power out and stand it up into a wheelie. There you go. That's how the clock is gonna expire right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still walking this wheelie all the way to the corner into a cyclone. Come on, let's get a cyclone going before this thing winds up. This is how I wanna go out. And I put it on the side. Put it on the side, power it out the next way around. And that'll do it for Blue Thunder. And this will be our final run of the event. We've got Alien Invasion with one of the cooler looking trucks I've ever seen out here. Let's go for this one. And let's go ahead and see if we can cap this show off with a bang. We're gonna go straight to the backflip ramp. And I'm gonna go for massive air on the backflip. Oh my goodness, that is unbelievable air on the backflip. And we perfectly rotated it as well. Did have to back out of it a little bit to get this thing back over here towards the big air jumps. And we are flying. We are absolutely flying into a bicycle wheelie and we're flipping. Come on, get it back, get it back. What a save, that was a spinner rooney Where is Booker T when you need him? Somebody show him that. We're going for it. Uh, oh, can he go for the triple? It was a little not legit, landed on the roof, but a triple front flip. Nonetheless, I don't think I ever uh, could have imagined one day that I'd be saying we'd be getting triple front flips out here while doing monster truck stuff, but here we are. Oh, and off on the other side with the power, and off on the other side. These power outs aren't working very good for me, are they? All right, well, there you go. Well, let's see what we can do here. Up in the air, we got body flying off every which direction. This is a cool looking truck, too. It's such a shame we're tearing it up. Oh my word, what in the world? What in the world do you say about that? And I am, I'm flipped over, I am beached. I'm belly up, so that's gonna make us reset. Let's see what we can do about it here. Let's go over the tabletop over here on this side, these little step ups. I don't have names for any of these things. I'm just making it up as, you, as I'm going along. I'm sure most of you who do know these things are like, just shut up, but I know. I know, we'll learn, we'll learn eventually, I'm sure. Go for the other side of the backflip ramp. Might as well, might as well. There we go, hit a beacon in midair as well. Got a perfect backflip, perfect rotation. Oh my word, bicycling it directly into another power ramp. Let's hit a racing ramp or something. We gotta do something big right here to cap things off. No, and it dies like that with 666 on the screen. That's a little scary, but that'll do it for alien invasion right there. And that'll pretty much do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, do not forget to vote for the winner because that is how we decide who wins these things? It's completely up to you guys. So go into that straw poll link. It'll be in the description. It'll be in the comments. Be sure to vote for who you thought 
did the best out of those 10 trucks that just ran. So that'll pretty much do it, everybody. I, I thought that was a pretty fun start to things over here at Monster Jam Steel Titans. If we do these uh, more often in the future, of course, like I said, this is kind of the undercard of trucks. I'm sure we'll have some more big names in the next one, uh, but that will do it, of course. Leave your comments down below. Let me know things you think we can do to uh, maybe make things a little bit better. Anything you think can be improved, things that we can do differently uh, or, or things that you think are going well so, so far with this. So uh, that'll pretty much do it, everybody. Of course, be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it, because those tell me that you do indeed want to see more. And uh, of course, leave those comments down below. So that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching once again. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.